There he is, bad Brad Keller. Now the ERA is continuing to move it on the downswing. You see his strikeouts to walks, seen a lot of walks this year. And Donaldson gets a base hit to right field. They gave him a little room to work with over there, and he put it on the ground for a single. It's to left field and down for a hit. And Donaldson to second base, so first and second, one down. And hits that one sharply, but right at Carlos Santana. So Keller works out of the jam, only needs 16 pitches. Shoemaker, his fastball, he has to throw it enough to keep hitters off of his slider and his split change that he throws. The slider's been very effective for him. Hit sharply past Sano at first, and Witt has himself a base hit. And now a walk to Santana, and the Royals have the first two on. Now it's Andrew Benintendi. Center field. Celestino broke in, now going back, and that ball's off the top of the wall. Merrifield will score. They're going to hold Santana at third. The Royals take a 1-0 lead, and Benintendi missed a home run by about two feet. Sixth double. It was a power double. And look at the split fingers. See it up? Heck, it wasn't even up. It was knee high, but middle of the plate. And the sound of the of the, the contact was pure. It was a clean sound. You could tell it was hit a long way. You hit a ball 410 feet and get a double out of it. That's a tough, tough chance there. Here comes trouble in Salvador Perez. To right center field. This will score two. In comes Santana. In comes Benintendi. 3 nothing Royals. The Royals continue to punish Shoemaker with all of his pitches. I mean, it's incredible. This is a wonderful hit here by Salvi. I can't believe they, they gave in to him and threw him a pitch that he could hit. Catcher's interference again. How about that? Yeah, he's way too close. You know, he's, he's figuring that out too. But right here, a great opportunity for Michael A. Taylor. There's a base hit to left field. In comes Salvador Perez. Right behind him, Hunter Dozier. The throw to the plate is cut off, and the Royals take a 5-0 lead. And that's just outstanding hitting. Shoemaker making a mistake with his curveball. He hung it, and a hitter can see that a mile away. Michael A. Taylor stayed on top of it and was able to find that hole on the left side. Great stroke, clutch hit. Make him four for seven with them loaded. Royals sending their ninth man to the plate and Nicky Lopez. Oh. Back up the middle and that will leap into center field. Well the Royals are not only good but they are fortunate right now because that looked like it might be fielded for a double play and it took a wicked bounce and hopped over the shortstop's head into center field. Whit Merrifield started the hit parade with a single to right. Merrifield with a high drive to left. That's back at the fence. And that's a goner. Home run with Merrifield. And the Royals are blowing out Minnesota in this first inning. Whit Merrifield putting an exclamation point on this inning and giving Shoemaker a parting gift. That was Whit's first home run since May 3rd when he took Sabali of Cleveland deep. Some 102 at bats ago. The Royals lead it 9 nothing. And the 2 2 swing and a miss, and Dozier strikes out, and this horrific inning is finally over. The Royals score a 9. It'll be Kelvin Gutierrez to lead off the second. Gutierrez slaps a base hit into left field, so he has joined the hit parade, and the Royals have their leadoff man on to start the second. Solaire whistles that one by Astadio. Racing to third is Gutierrez and Solaire. He now has a base hit, and the Royals threatening to add some more here in the second inning. Michael Taylor oh. to right field. That's a beautiful piece of hitting. In comes Gutierrez. It's 10 0 Royals. We'll move on to the number two hitter now, Carlos Santana. Hit sharply into right field. That will score at least two. 12-0 KC. To the right side, Gordon goes to second, and they won't get Benintendi. And checking in from third is Nicky Lopez to make it 13-0.
Kirilov singled his first time up, and he has Donaldson at first and Polanco at third base. And a 2 1 pitch, ground ball left side. This is backhanded by the third baseman, second floor. The return is going to be not in time. As the run scores, Polanco is in. Donaldson out at second base. Kirilov safe. On the Fielder's Choice RBI, Twins are on the board 13 to 1. Here's Polanco to lead off the fifth. There's a ball driven to right center field and deep. And Polanco banks one off the ad by the Fountains. And Polanco's hit his sixth home run of the year here, leading off the fifth inning. Yeah, second hit of the ballgame, and no success off Keller coming in. And all of a sudden, he's got a couple of hits. So Ronald Bolaños will take over, and he was recalled yesterday to mark his second stint with the big league club this year. Lopez. Oh, that's a nice play from deep short to get that force to win. Better believe that. He's a confident fielder right now. You can tell. He's he's there's a second really good play he made. I mean, watch the watch what he gets on it. He's able to get a lot on that throw and got him by plenty. Lopez fires to first and gets his man. Another fine play by Nicky Lopez. And he is putting on a defensive clinic today. This one here with a guy that can run the ball bounces off the plate. It's like a bounce in a Super Bowl. Nicky with some quickness there got rid of it with some petrol on it. Here's the 2 2 swinging and a miss. He struck him out. So Bolaños gave up a couple of hits. He had some really good defense behind him. Now Dyson the batter. Dyson knocks one up the middle backhanded by the second baseman his throw not in time and the Royals score their 14th run on an infield hit by Gerard. Lead off walk and now Sano hoping to end an 0 for 24. 3 1 pitch a drive to right center field deep in the alley that ball travels near the wall and gone. Miguel Sano with a two run homer here in the eighth inning. And it's now 14 to 4. Sano's 18th home run lifetime against the Royals 11th at Kauffman Stadium. Gordon tonight with a couple of singles. He's two out of three. Gordon sending the center fielder Tucker back and that ball is gone. Nick Gordon with his dad watching a three hit night and his first big league home run. Well that's got to feel good. Get that one out of the way. Herman Santana comes out of the bullpen to try and get those final three outs. Oh man. Ball hit to left back goes Dyson still going back. He leaps oh. and makes a spectacular catch. Gerard Dyson. Wow. To end it. What a play this was. Great timing. Bounced off the wall. Oh, look at him. Look once where he was. That'll be on a highlight reel. The Royals really playing well right now. They've won five straight ball games and they are 13 and six since that nasty 11 game losing streak.